All right, today in the garage, we're doing the Tesla PPF kit for the rear doors. Got what we need right here. <clears throat> Comes with the squeegee. I got some isopropyl alcohol, some Johnson's baby shampoo, and some distilled water. Also some towels. Got about a 60-40 distilled water to isopropyl alcohol spray in the red bottle. In the blue bottle, uh, we have an 85-15 mixture of baby shampoo to water, distilled water. And um, so I'm gonna set you down and uh, we'll go through this process. I already did the other side. It was super easy, but difficult for me to film with one person. So I'm uh, gonna set you down and we're gonna give it a whirl and just stick with me. It's not hard um, and it can be done well. So here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything I'm doing once I get this situated. All right, so step one, I'm gonna take some towels and the isopropyl alcohol, and we're gonna just spray this down here. We're not gonna use this to stick or to slip solution. Uh, we're not gonna use this as a slip solution, but we're gonna use this to clean before and after we're done. I found that the solution that Tesla recommends, which is the 15% uh, baby shampoo to distilled water works just fine and sticks no problem. Right. The car's just been washed, so it's pretty clean. I do have some chips down here, some scrapes down here. Nothing I'm gonna get bent out of shape about, but. Certainly some of, uh, some of the folks that own these cars thinks that when you buy a car, you should be uh, protected from all nicks and scrapes forevermore. Uh, not the case if you want to use it. And I don't mind driving. So, that's done. Next up, we're going to take our slip solution. Make sure we have our sheet ready to go, which it is. We'll make sure we have it oriented correctly. This is our orientation. We're going to spray. And we're going to do it liberally because if you don't mind a little slip solution, we'll work it out. All right, let's peel this puppy off. I'm also going to apply the slip solution to the back. And we're going to grab our squeegee so we have it ready. And make sure we get it oriented. Here we go. Doesn't matter where you start, we're gonna work it into place. Now I'm just watching this back edge first. And then kind of where I want it. All right, we're just gonna start nice and gentle. something I've been making, which is not what we want, so we're going to just pull it back and make sure we get the crud out. Go again. This is not the most clean environment you've ever seen. It's my garage, of course. It's where the real stuff happens here, so we're just going to get it set. And this might look harder than it actually is. Start just gently working some of this slip solution out. All right. Just gonna get in here. Now we can move it. We can continue to adjust it. Really right up until the very end. I just want to I don't want it overhanging the edge here, but we want it just so that it provides the right protection, but so that nothing will catch it. Because it can't, it's not going to wrap the corners. And 
And if you push, it'll slide a little and then we'll just adjust it back if it moves and when we want it. It's looking really good. Keep an eye on the bottom edge here. Side down here. Keep this edge nice and tight. Looking, looking good. Now we're just working the stuff, working the slip solution out, looking for the bubbles, and we're just gonna work them down. it down with this slip solution it really comes out nice and easy some people won't mind the look of this little panel here and this little piece oh, I got something under there this is the beauty of this product you can You can mess with it. I'm not gonna hurt at all. So don't don't be afraid. Peeling it off, trying again. You see something you don't like, peel it back, keep working. and stuff down here. These are actually my little chips and I didn't opt to uh, do any touch-up before we put this on. To me, it doesn't seem like it's worth the extra step at this point. It's my driver. It's gonna have damage. It's gonna have rock chips. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Looks like it should. Now we're going to take this isopropyl alcohol again. I'm just going to spray this down. We're doing this to get the rest of the slip solution off. So we can get a good look underneath too. Make sure we're happy. Get any last little bubbles out. If we see them. It's gonna be a little sudsy down here for a bit. Unless we really wanna rinse it off, but we're not gonna do that for about 24 hours after we put this down because you just don't wanna mess with it if we don't have to. All right, and there we go. What you're seeing down here, those are my rock chips. <laughs> so this is why this product exists. No, it doesn't come that way from the factory, but you can get it. I noticed down here I can get a really clean line all the way across with the way this is cut. And then over here, you'll do see it'll come, come back a little bit from the door, but I mean, you gotta be really looking to have that bother you. It doesn't bother me a bit. It's a nice piece. It's um, it's a 3M product. Not sure exactly which one, but that's it. There you go. You can do this. Uh, if you want to buy it from Tesla, I bought it. If anybody's wondering, this came from the Tesla website. <clears throat> it's periodically out of stock, but um, <clears throat> comes back in. So keep checking. Uh, put your email in for a reminder. It'll tell you when it's back in stock, and 
and you can order your own if this is something that appeals to you. I did also put my summer tires back on today. Uh, forgot how how much quieter these are than the winter tires I bought. I bought a winter tire and wheel setup from T-Sport Line, which I also loved. I bought 19 inch and of course we got the 21 inch Uber, Uber turbines back on, which I don't mind. And that's the finished product. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. If any of you are interested in doing this, uh, hopefully I made it look easy and it is. Thanks so much.